What's up? Welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to talk about how to create magnetic masks inside of Final Cut Pro. They really didn't disappoint with this one. Like, look at this. It even captures motion blur, captures hair. It's insane, so let's not waste any time and jump right into Final Cut. So once we're in Final Cut, we just have to go down here to the Effects tab. If it isn't open yet, click on it right here and look up Magnetic Mask. Once you found it, just drag it onto your clip. And then you can see we have this little pin, which we can also just use to select a normal standing subject by clicking on it. And we don't have to use the tracking function of the mask because as you can see, it also tracks the hair right here. First, you might think it's a bad thing because it selects everything, but it does not select the background, just the hair. As you can see, only the hair is marked red right here, just like the subject, which means only the hair will be selected. As you can see, once we click done, the entire subject is selected, including the hair, but the background right here in between the hair is removed. And of course, you can also toggle it on and off like every other effect and bring back and remove the background. Now let's try it with a different example, this time to see how you're also able to track blurry objects like for example myself here in the foreground without using feathering because the mask already tracks the blurriness. So drag the mask onto the clip, select the subject in the foreground. In this example the mask only selected this portion of the image, so let's also select the face and head right here. Now it selected some of the background, so we just press the options key to change it into a minus just like in Photoshop hit this spot somewhere right here and now it knows we only want this person in the foreground. So hit done and there we go, only the subject in the foreground is selected. In this case the selection isn't perfect but we can fix that of course with adding some feathering. And now if we bring the background back on a duplicated layer we can see this could be helpful to for example reposition the scene a little bit and reframe it to where the person in the foreground looks way bigger and closer to the camera. Now let's go over how to track a magnetic mask with the clip from the beginning. So again look up magnetic mask and then drag it onto our clip. I'm gonna go to a part where I have both hands up. That way the mask can see everything we wanna track. Now select the subject right here and add stuff if necessary, like the both hands right here and also deselect those parts. And then once we're happy with our selection, we can either click on analyze or first analyze backwards and then analyze forwards from our current location. So I'm gonna click on analyze backwards and we can watch in real time how it analyzes our mask. Then once we're done with that, let's click on analyze forward. And there we go, once we've done that, we can play it back smoothly and see we have a tracked magnetic mask. And of course, if we can spot some mistakes in that, we can always go back in, double click on in this case magnetic mask one, not magnetic mask, but magnetic mask one, and go back into our image and either use this magic pen to kind of make an automatic selection or you can go up here to the plus and minus icon and use a normal brush like in Photoshop to paint out the small mistakes. That's it, that's how we create these amazing magnetic masks inside of Final Cut Pro. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like this one. You can find the Final Cut tutorial playlist right here and the last Final Cut tutorial right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.